Hey BeerTubers! I'm here at my friend's house in LA right now and come to find out in Southern California because of Stone Brewing they're able to have Great Divide Brewing from Colorado to import their beers here. Now in San Francisco since I'm about six, a six hour, seven hour drive away from LA I cannot get any Great Divide Brewing. So being here in LA has been an awesome opportunity for me. I already spent like 60 bucks on a bunch of their beers. Uh, of course, I got a couple bottles of the Oak Age Yeti, one of my favorite top fives. But uh, tonight, I'm going to be having the Titan IPA. That is a 7.1% yeah, IPA, an American style uh, IPA. And let's see here, it says it's an aggressively hopped IPA. Um, piney, citrus, blah blah blah, you know, like that kind of stuff. Uh, I really like their labels. They're, they're just really cool. Much better than their older ones. Yeah, it's got a, uh, a darkish orange color. Maybe strawberry orange, one can say. Very clear. I can smell the aroma here already. Let me give it a whiff here. Yeah, just straight up like a West Coast citrusy IPA. It's got that hops going on. I'm guessing probably they got uh, Cascadian, maybe Warrior. I'm not sure if it says here. It doesn't. But anyways, oh, it's kind of cool. They, they have suggested pairings with it. It says it'll be good with grilled halibut, Thai curry, and with a strong, soft cow's milk cheese. It's inter interesting what they do. So anyways, let me go ahead and give this a try here. Come by. Hmm. Yeah, this has a good, so far, it has a good balance of the bitter, the bitterness of an IPA, um, citrus, plenty of citrus, but it's got a decent amount of malt backbone. Not a lot, to the point where it's kind of chewy, but it's, I think it so far has a pretty decent balance of it. Tastes great. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's got citrus, it's got uh, apricot, I think I'm getting some apricot in this. And the flavor doesn't linger too much, but it's, you know, it's got a good hop finish and uh, travels through the flavors of the hops and finishes with a nice malt. Uh, it, it, it's got a nice malt finish. This is quite enjoyable. Um, it is, maybe for some people, it will be on the sweeter side if you do like your hops and prefer just hops, but um, I don't know, this this is a really enjoyable one. It's not unique to say that it's, oh, it's so different from uh, other IPAs. It's like so unique and cool and creative. No, it's it it's, tastes like an IPA, but it's it's got its own thing going on. I actually enjoy this one a lot. Yeah, so if, if you could get a hold of this, as I know I can't, so I'm going to be buying as many as possible <laughs> before I leave. Um, definitely get it. I recommend it. It's got a solid A for me, for sure. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in another Great Divide beer blog. Come fight.